Were you ever that one in one million? If so, what's your story? I was struck by lightning while talking on a landline. This was in the early 90s. Lightning struck the telephone line and traveled through the handset to my ear. My parents drove me to the ER. I couldn't talk very well. My brain knew what I wanted to say. But my mouth didn't want to say it. I had a terrible stutter. My doctor told me that I had had a dose of good. Old fashioned electroshock therapy. My speech was normal the next day. But I get a terrible headache whenever a thunderstorm comes through. I slept wrong one night and pinched a nerve in my neck so severely I lost the right side of my body. It just went silent like it wasn't there for months. I woke up in the worst pain I've ever experienced and couldn't talk, move or do anything. The ER doctor thought I was having a stroke. My doctor had never seen a case as severe as mine and it was purely a freak accident. Recovery took months but I have use of my leg and hand again. With some numbness. Other than pain and spasms I'm mostly back to normal. Not sure if this is a blessing or a curse. But I'm an extremely tall human. 7'3", yes really. Not sure how rare that is. I have completely unexplained hearing loss in my left ear. I had a cyst in it when I was 6. And the surgery to remove it and fix the ear was successful. When I was about 12. I woke up one morning with a killer headache and ear ringing. And after 3 days it went away and so did my hearing. Doctors did multiple examinations and an MRI and they said it should be totally functional. It just isn't. One in a million case. For my 7th birthday we went to Disneyland. They just happened to be having a car day giveaway when we were there. For my 7th birthday. Mickey Mouse gave me a Pontiac Firebird. I once guessed a 6 digit random combination on the first try. It was the only try I planned to give. As a kind of scratch pad whatever moment. I was in two separate car crashes in two separate cars in less than 45 minutes apart. Also. Go you slash dash shark boy. Diagnosed with an extremely rare liver disease. Primary hyperoxaluria. Some 300 people in the United States currently have it. Basically pass a lot of kidney stones and need a double transplant to fix. My ex was struck by lightning several times and lived. Died in a car accident though. So not as lucky as he claimed to be. I was on Tinder and was talking to this guy. He was supposed to meet me for dinner. I texted him and no answer. Then I texted him on Tinder. Said that he couldn't make it. However. I got a text back from the number. It wasn't the guy that I thought I texted. It was the actor Gerard Butler. I thought he was lying until he FaceTimed me. Nice guy. Had two 11 centimeters benign tumors growing in my spine. Resulting in gradual paralysis from my chest down. They had no idea how the tumors formed. Surgery took 11 hours when they thought it would take 4 because the tumors were so complexly woven throughout my spine. I now have pretty much half a spine and chronic pain but ID take that over losing my life from paralysis and being unable to breathe. I have an unknown type of autosomal dominant central nuclear myopathy. My type of it is so rare that they haven't even seen it before. Getting diagnosed was a multi-year struggle. They pretty much had to rule out everything else. It doesn't feel great to be in this club by myself. Countless blood draws. MRIs. CAT scans and a biopsy and genetic test. So far. It looks like my father and I. Are the only ones with it. Yay. No sure about the odds on this one. But I survived a non-survivable plane crush. I was on an old PO2, famous for being very safe and uncrushable, on a tour of the desert in western China when I was like 7. My father's friend who hosted me and piloted the plane didn't survive but somehow I got out with a concussion and apparently passed out for almost a day in the middle of the desert. In the wreckage of the crash. 50 kilometers from the town slash airport. On the edge of the desert. The people who found me were some tree planters, they plant greens in the desert to protect towns from sandstorm. A lot of people live in these desert towns in China do this, found me on their way picking up a shipment. And the only reason they looked was BC they were making a bet on how fast the egg would cook in the sand and went off the road to test. 
I am allergic to the cold. Like literally. I get intense hives. Swelling. I pass out. And throw up. Doesn't even have to be freezing. Below 45 degrees without a jacket and I can't do it. I have to carry an AP pen with me in the event that I drink something too cold or have a severe reaction. I own a Lego minifigure called MR. Gold. This particular minifig was to celebrate the 10th series of the Lego figurine line. They are sort of like grab bags. You can feel for them but you don't know what minifigure you're really going to get. So because they were celebrating they thought it was a good idea to only make $5. Zero 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 of these. Anyways. When I was younger and even now I was really good knowing which figures they are simply by looking at, at the figures pieces and feeling out those pieces. I really liked the mini figures cause I thought they were really cool and unique so I really wanted MR. Gold and me and my mom hunted for it for a long time but after a while I gave up. Then one day I was at the Lego store and felt the distinct diamond piece and freaked out. Finding this figure was a downright fantasy. I'm 18 now and still want to relieve 12 year old me's pure joy as he opened the packaging. The first one I don't know about the exact odds. But I was born on July 7th, 77 and weighed 7 pounds and 7 ounces. Sadly though I clocked in at 6. 50 a. M. The other is that around the age of 14 I started to notice the outsides of both of my feet starting to get much wider. After a couple of years of buying expensive custom made shoes they decided to perform surgery on my feet. Turned out I had extra muscle growth along with something else I don't recall at the moment. My podiatrist told me he submitted a scholarly article on it. May also have been genetic as when my dad was three. He developed an extra toe growing out of each one of his big toes. When I was a teenager I had just started working at the local Sears Auto Center Express Lube Shop and on day one did a quick orientation and my first oil change. The manager walked away when he felt I was good to go and the oil change went well. Fast forward a few days later my manager asked me to come into his office and he explained that the oil filter I had used had one huge flaw. I didn't know what that was and it turned out the filter was pressed on backwards into the filter can and it wouldn't allow oil to flow in and it damaged the motor. They had to purchase a new motor for the person and I still kept my job. He said it was a one in a million chance that would have happened and it did on my first oil change.